Today, we are going to cover the seven most common causes as to why your VPN is not working. If you're here because it keeps losing its connection and you can't work out why, then I'm gonna do my best to be your beacon of hope. As well as covering off the causes, we will of course discuss the solutions, plus some preventative measures you can take, and with any luck, at least one should have you all sorted and browsing happily by the time we're done watching, not just now, but for good. I'll put some chapters in the description below so that you can navigate nice and efficiently, but if you have no idea where to start, then I suggest watching this video in its entirety. With all that said, my name is Callum, you're watching Top 10 VPN, let's get started. Reason number one, your connection has too much latency. As you may already know, connecting to a VPN increases latency, or lag as you might commonly refer to it. By having to reroute all of your data and traffic over what is often a very great distance, latency can increase massively versus what you're used to without a VPN. It's not just you that feels that difference too, your VPN does as well. While connected, it will intermittently send a message to the server it's connected to to ensure that the connection is still there. And if it doesn't get a response back in a timely fashion, then it will sever the connection. This can happen as a result of either your connection being too far away, perhaps you're in California and the server is in South Africa, or because your connection is just too slow. It can be annoying, but you might just have to simply try connecting to a different server. Reason number two there are other network connection issues. An internet connection isn't really as simple as A to B. There are a lot of different devices involved and a lot of potential points of failure. Maybe your broadband connection is struggling. After that, maybe the Wi-Fi signal is too weak. And after that, maybe the router you're connecting to is having issues. Perhaps there are too many people connected to the network and it's struggling for bandwidth. Any of these issues can impact your VPN connection. Speaking firsthand, I find that whenever I'm traveling on the London Underground, for example, and have my VPN running, it can really struggle to establish a connection as I move from station to station and use the various crummy Wi-Fi hotspots that each of them employs. Your VPN will automatically attempt to reconnect in these situations, but it can be frustrating, and unfortunately, there's no real on-the-spot solution here other than to tough it out. Reason number three, you've reached your VPN's device limit. If it's not something that you thought would matter to you, or you didn't read the small-ish print, then you might not even know that your VPN has a device limit. Some don't, but most VPNs will restrict just how many devices can be using it at the same time. And just to further complicate things, some will set a limit to how many can be connected to at once, while some will set the limit on how many it can be logged into at once, connected or not. Either way, if you exceed that limit, then your device will simply refuse to connect. Or if you sign in on one device and surpass the limit, then it might log you out of the other one, which you could be in the middle of using. The simple solution is to keep a close eye on the number of devices you have it installed on, or to simply choose a VPN with no connection limit. Off the top of my head, a private internet access, Surfshark, and IPVanish are three really excellent ones. Reason number four, your ISP is blocking VPN traffic. For the majority of our viewers, this thankfully is unlikely to apply. However, there are a surprisingly large number of countries around the world that ban VPNs or restrict their use. You might even end up traveling to one for work or vacation. In those countries, the government either owns the ISPs or instructs them under threat of heavy penalties to block VPN usage. Some countries are better at this than others. I may or may not know people who live in the UAE, for example, and they may or may not use VPNs to get around content restrictions with little hassle. However, if you're in China, it's a different state of affairs altogether. Almost every VPN will fail to work routinely within the country. We know this firsthand as we actually test all the VPNs we review with a remote server that we operate out of Shanghai. The solution to this is picking a VPN with adequate obfuscation. It's not easy, and there aren't many, but by using more advanced technologies and protocols, they can successfully disguise themselves so that they don't look like VPNs. We've actually made a video diving into this topic in greater detail if you're interested. I'll, I'll put a link somewhere, maybe there or in the description. Reason number five, software conflicts are interrupting your VPN. Computers and smartphones are complicated. There's a lot of stuff going on in there at any one time, half of which you probably aren't even aware of. It's not at all uncommon for software or apps to tread on each other's toes, to put it politely. One of the most common ones we run into is when another VPN interferes with the one you're trying to use. And this can happen even when you think you've uninstalled or removed that old one. It's generally a good idea to only have one VPN on your device at once, and if you removed any older ones, make sure you delete any VPN profiles or adapters or other vestiges it might have left behind. Other consumer VPNs aren't the only culprits though. Work or school VPNs can also be at fault, as can firewalls or even antivirus software. Check your machine to make sure that any software or app along those lines isn't getting in the way of your connection. Reason number six, your VPN server is congested. If you've ever wondered why both we and the VPN services themselves put such an emphasis on the number of servers that they have, well, this is a great example. Ordinarily, connecting to a congested VPN server will cause slowdown to your internet. There's no limit to how bad that slowdown can be but congestion can actually get to a point where it's so bad because the server is just so busy that it just 
kicks you off altogether. Usually you'll be picking a region for your VPN to connect to, and it will then do some quick maths to put you onto a specific server that isn't too busy. But if there isn't any other option, particularly common if you're using a free VPN, then you're stuck with the overly congested server and the poor reliability that comes with it. Choosing a different region is an easy way to avoid this if you can, or of course, so is subscribing to a VPN with more servers. Reason number seven, your device's power settings are disrupting the VPN. Finally, if you're anything like me, then you probably use your smartphone's low battery power mode all the time. Toggle it on when you're worried its battery might run out, and as a result, it stops a bunch of unnecessary stuff from running in the background that would otherwise be consuming power. But we don't get to choose what that sort of stuff it's limiting is. And given that VPNs run in the background, the chance it could be cutting it off in a mistaken attempt at saving power. Or it could be throttling the VPN's access to the processor, or even the general clock speed of the processor itself, leading to drops in connection. Something very interesting you might want to know, though, is this doesn't just apply to mobile devices. Your laptop and even your desktop computer also have their own power saving settings. Windows, in particular, has a nightmarishly complex range of power settings you can dive into if you're so inclined. Make sure your machine is set up to run at max power consumption if you suspect of it messing with your VPN connection. If you need extra help troubleshooting, then our full written guide on how to stop your VPN from disconnecting covers a whole bunch of stuff on top of what I've already spoken about and is super helpful, I, I think, anyway. Alternatively, leave a comment on this video and I promise I'll respond to it. I can't promise it'll be all that helpful, but I will at least look into it for you. And remember, before going too in-depth on any particular VPN issues, try turning it off and on again. Seriously, you'd be surprised how often that works. Uh, that and reinstalling it. I really hope we've managed to ease some of your frustrations. Why not like and subscribe to the channel to support us if that's the case. And I'll see you next time.